Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology. This one is for um, November 4th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 11. The number 11 is the number of invention and originality. It seems that we need to find those very unique parts within to help us navigate this tremendous time of awakening. The quality of this number is uncertainty. The temperament of this number is one of chaotic flow. All drastic shifts in life have a sudden and unanticipated quality. We are in one of those moments. Take the time to allow the flow of uncertainty to help us carry us in a different direction. Change is necessary. Change is the future. And we will all need to change with it. The astrology today. You might have noticed how dark the sky has been the past few days. That is because we are at a new moon in Scorpio this afternoon around dinner time. Many of us have been feeling in the dark for a variety of reasons. Such moments make the mind stress. It seeks out ways to feel as if we have some illusion of control. In our world, many forms of obsessiveness seem rampant. It is time we work towards addressing our emotional challenges in a more constructive way. There seems to be too much stuff weighing us down. Some of it seems to be emotional obligations. For others, it is a lack of time for self-care. And for others, it is hanging on to things from our past that are making our homes and lives feel congested and stuck. Notice what you need to do to lighten your load and then take action. It's impossible to be effective and have concentration and focus if too many things are pulling at us from too many directions. Why hang on to things when so many of the motivations are a distortion of what is really of value in life? Too much stuff is a deflection for real intimacy. Intimacy requires full presence with another. At times, that can be challenging. Intimacy is a choice to completely stop a habit and behavior in order to connect with another in meaningful ways. In life, there will always be stuff that tries to get in the way. Just remember that you are good enough to have beauty, love, and kindness in your life. Develop a life with purpose and allow that purpose to take you deeper into things that actually matter. There are many that fear direct confrontations at this time where there is so much intensity. I do not blame anyone for that hesitation. Many moments are filled with uncomfortable emotions that bring up feelings that we would prefer were not, we did not get to notice. The moon and Uranus oppose today. Just know that there will be a lot of resistance from the external world. Best not to ask too much from others today and maybe even over the next few days. People are on the edge and not able to accommodate another change. Everyone feels touchy and out of sorts. Distractions are rampant and frustration levels are high. Those that feel deeply constrained will want to create disruptions. We need to look at the motivations of others and see how to shift their responses from an old way of generalizations into much more specific ways that allow for individuality and expression that redefines how we interact with others. Many things need to be reviewed. Many things are showing vulnerabilities in our systems. Many things are moving in innovative ways that push us out of our comfort zone. Know that this constant sense of change is going to continue for a long time. We are in a time of great change and change that has a direction and purpose, even if it seems not clearly defined at this time. Something is seeking us. That energy is required to mold us into a new form, one that, at the moment, is feeling unfamiliar and uncomfortable, but hopefully it will be something that has the power to carry us into a joyful future. My quote for today. So many times in life I have wanted to let it all go, all the distortion and all those who pretend to know. While I do not know all the facts and figures, I do know that universal truths do not disfigure. Universal truths are the bedrock of the soul. They are the DNA upon which life is able to roll. And my blog for today. How do we find a door that is unknown? How do we reach for dreams that have flown? I have learned in life that special moments will pass and that life goes on, so stop and roll in the grass. We forget to embrace moments as they come. We forget to dance even when there is no music or drum. Why not listen to the flow and the feelings inside and let our emotions flow with the tide? 
Too often we worry about what others think. That fear stops our dreams and makes us shrink. We have stepped through the walls of our mind. We have made it a choice to be considerate and kind. Joy is a pattern that embraces all change. Joy takes energy and can rearrange. Patterns of dysfunction, disharmony, and rage, and enough joy can help us turn the page. Depression hooks us into the grief of what might have been. Depression says, we must take it on the chin. But when we realize that our mind is beating us up, then we learn to keep our chin up. No one can pull us down more than our own mind. That is why it is up to us to be especially kind and embrace all that we have ever been, the good, the bad, and love the scars on our skin. While we may not be perfect, the flaws help to refine what we know to be good and allow us to redefine those things we have judged and those things hidden in the past. When we allow joy to lead, we cannot be an outcast. Let the joy find the doorways we seek. Step on joy's path and she will give you a peek at what we might have missed in the chaos of life. And that will lead us to become larger than life. Thanks, everyone.